Hi, this is C. Welcome to my channel, Minimal Chic SF. Um, if you're interested in luxury fashion reviews of shoes, purses, um, I want to say sustainability, minimalism, planning, then this channel is for you. Today, if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. If you like this channel, please click thumbs up. Um, today's topic, I want to say, is a fun one for me. I am reviewing all of my shoes that are also worn as fam famously by Meghan Markle. Um, she is a big style influence for me. I think that her style is very beautiful, minimalism, classic, elegant. Um, and I have to say, in terms of the shoes, I want to get into a few things like the differences between brands, um, where they are made, longevity, as well as my ultimate recommendation for these shoes and their price points. Um, I am only going to be reviewing two, two brands in particular. These are brands and shoes that resonated with me. Um, this pair in particular is made by Tamara Mellon and these are the Paramore Pump in 105. Um, the other brand I will be reviewing, which is not pictured, will be Aquazura. Um, so I want to talk first about these Tamara Melons. So these are the Tamara Melon 105 Paramore Pump. She wore these famously, I want to say, the week of the wedding with a beautiful black striped dress. And if I can, I will try and include the photo to it. Um, I'm still new at editing, so please forgive me. Uh, these were my first purchase, I want to say, into a high-end shoe brand of a new shoe. I did some research on Tamara Mullen. I really like the fact that she has, since she's left Jimmy Choo, she started her own new, sh a new another new shoe company. This one tends to blend, I want to say, LA style with um, classics, classics. So as a California girl, I definitely love the look and feel of these. Um, these are also Italian made and these ran, I think, around $500. I think Tomorrow Melon occasionally does sales and coupons, so I think I waited for a coupon to come on before I purchased these. Um, and I have to say I've been overall very happy with the purchase. Um, these are like a black suede Mary Jane, and I've been known to wear them throughout summer, I want to say fall and winter. I really try to keep my shoes in season um, and keep these, I want to say, to help protect the longevity of the shoes. So these are around five inch heel, black suede, double buckle in gold. And it's like champagne gold. And I would say I've worn these at least one to two seasons now. Um, and they're, they're holding up quite nicely. Um, Tamara Mellon seems to make a thicker suede. And I do take care of my shoes. Like these were scotch guarded and then they get brushed regularly. So in terms of wearability, these shoes, her shoes are very solid on, I want to say, the heel point. Um, compared to, like, other shoes that I own, when I step in these, I know that nothing is going to happen. Like, a, a heel is not going to snap on me. Other shoes by other brands, it's a concern. These ones, mm-mm. These I wear to work, I'll wear out on dates, um, and I will feel confident in them. They're a very comfy shoe. The only thing I will say is I definitely feel like <laughs> I could not run away in them. Um, as nice as they are, as quick as I bounce up and down on them, like these are definitely not a shoe that's easy for me to run or walk quickly in. But I've worn these all day to work. It hasn't been a problem. Um, I will say if you're out of practice on wearing five inch heels, you might want to take a few breaks in between and out. But again, can stand easily in a couple hours for these. Um, definitely all day at work, in between sitting, running into meetings, um, up and down, not a problem. So these are, I want to say in terms of rating, wearability price, at least a nine out of 10. Um, and I have to say it's because they look so good still even after all this time. So that is my first pair of Tamara Melons. The second pair I bought was made famous by Megan when she was celebrating, I think, Prince Charles's birthday. And this is right after they had gotten married. And these are the Siren Pumps in the Napa Leather and Blush. 
Um, and as you can see from the dirt, I've, I've worn them a fair few times. These, this pair I bought last winter and you can already see some wear here and some wear here. Um, in terms of the price point, I think these also were on sale and I believe I paid maybe in the mid 300s. Um, I have to say in terms of the heel, it's very, again, very solidly built. There's something about her design, which you you know somebody who wears heels and help make these shoes. Because when I step into this pair also, as high as they are, I don't feel like I'm going anywhere in them. This pair compared to this pair, they're, again, two different types of materials. These are leather. This is suede. Suede's going to have a much easier break-in period. This pair, I was surprised to see, took a, mu a bit more while to break in. And by that, I meant at least one full wear. I wore these to work and I have to say, I wear on average a four inch heel. Um, I had to train myself to walk in fives. This pair, I'd been wearing fives for, for a few, like all weeks in a different pair, but this pair just felt, I want to say a little bit harder on the foot. Um, and it took just, I want to say one to two wears to break in. Now that they're broken in, it's not a problem, but I can definitely say from like a perspective point of view, as beautiful as they are, like they're not my favorite Dorsey pump. And I have Dorsey's from Christian Louboutins and I feel like those are a little bit more easier to get around than in these. Um, but that being said, they're very beautiful heel. I definitely can see the wear here on the P PVC. Um, and I don't know if that's my own clumsiness or not, but again, beautiful heel. Don't regret what I paid for them given the price. The fact that they're an Italian made shoe, also another benefit. Um, but I can say, yeah, definitely a nice heel. Very beautiful, but um, they may not be something I would repurchase again, knowing, and again, I knew like, the leather was going to, to have this wear over time. So I would say that, that was not a deterrent. The PVC was not a deterrent. Um, I would just say, be careful and be aware of the fact that there is a break in period for this shoe. Um, because of that, I think I would maybe give these an eight out of 10. Um, and that was just because that, that first day was murder. So these are my Tamara Melons. Um, the other shoe brand that I have that is made famous by Meghan Markle is Aquazura. And I have to say, I love Aquazura. <laughs> um, I was new to the brand and here they are. And like, I had gone in with no expectations. Um, but I have to say when I did some more research about the brand, um, I was surprised to learn that the founders had been bought out by Gucci and that when they left Gucci, they basically came to start a shoe company that was made, I want to say, design beautiful heels, but that were wearable and practical. And I have to say, definitely, as a user, can say that definitely holds true. Um, I love these heels. I would say I definitely will be buying Aquazura, I want to say, for a long time to come. Um... These are a five inch heel and they feel like nothing on. I actually bought these in beige because I love them so much. And the minute these die, I will be repurchasing in black again um, because they are just such a nice staple. The Danilf pump um, comes in 105. I believe I paid around 700 for them. And I have to say in terms of wearability style, <laughs> they're a fun shoe. Um, this always reminds me of bunny ears, um, and I have to say, like, they're, they're just beautiful. Um, I wear these out to work on dates. Um, I've even walked a few city blocks in these. I want to say at least, at least a good five to ten blocks in quick heels in the middle of winter. And, like, as much as it, it was, like, a quick run, they held up. Um, I have to say, love these shoes. They have great wearability. There was no break in period because of the suede. Um, and I have to say they're holding up quite nicely. Um, they look great. The only thing I would say is if you have, there's a little bit of white on here and I think that's almost my skin rubbing up against it, but black shows everything. So just be aware of that when you buy them. But again, a beautiful shoe. 
and definitely would like say this, this I can understand why Meghan Markle buys the this pair it's because they are so wearable and even after working like an eight hour day or standing for at least an hour or two in heels like it really doesn't cause me any pain or swelling um so I would say beautiful heel definitely get why she has them in multiple colors um here is my second pair of heels and these are I'm gonna do this so you can see them fully honestly styled these are like little boot trees I use to help keep the shape um my black pair of paramore pumps also has them but I took them out um these are the Matilda pumps and funnily enough and I'm gonna bring the other one over funnily enough um these are actually two sizes too big for me but that is not a problem because of the fact that this shoe is so comfortable and with the tie around feature it's not that bad there's a bit of a gap but again it's fine um these this pair i purchased on sale um i'm not sure why they're on sale <laughs> because they're so comfy but i definitely could see myself rebuying this pair um in terms of i would say i've worn these to death um the suede seems to hold up even though i brush it but you can see some somewhere on the foot um that's not on my paramore so maybe that's a difference in the manufacturer but i would say like this this did not bother me um the toe box here on other shoes like the paramore kind of did but this is a beautiful heel um in terms of wearability i can wear it all day at work and i'm in no pain we can wear it out on a date and no pain um they feel there's something about officers where I know they're solidly made, but they're very light on the foot um, compared to like, I want to say the stride and like the Tamara melons. Tamara melons, I know that like when I'm walking in them, I'm not going to snap a heel. Um, for the aquazers, they just feel so light that I don't even think about the fact that I am walking in a five inch heel. And you can tell very easily these are a five inch heel. The only thing I don't like about this pair, which is my own fault, is the wear. You can see all the dirt on these. Um, and I, I do my best to keep them up with the suede brush, but unfortunately that's the case with a lot of light colored suede. Um, and I would say, I think because I bought them on sale, I'm not ups as upset about it as I would be <laughs> if I spent as much money on them full price. But I have to say, in terms of recommendations for these two shoes, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, um, even knowing that. Because I would say everybody knows that purchasing light suede. Um, if I had to buy the shoe collection again, I would say yes. If you're looking to upgrade your, your shoes, you're looking to splurge, and you have something of like, I want to say a minimalist fashion, these are going to be your cup of tea. Um, these are a lot of no frill classic elegant pumps. Um, what I really like about them is the wearability and the fact that like they are so classic um, that I can just mix and match. I've been known to run around the house, out of the house in jeans with both of these pairs. I do get stares <laughs> because my jeans have rips in them, but I would say like they're so beautiful um, that... <laughs> They, they just make me happy to wear them. Um, in terms of Meghan Markle and her budget, I would say I'm not... I think she picks really great shoes that have to deal with, I want to say, like, wearability, practical, practicality. I know she, as a royal, she was highlighting British-born designers, which is why she picked Tamar Mellon. Um, and I would say, like, in terms of Tamar Mellon brands, I really like the fact that she, she blends, I want to say, English sensibility with LA Cool. As a fellow California girl, um, like Meghan Markle is, I have to say, it feels like California LA style, um, and I truly love that. This is just, like, something that's a lot more fun to wear. It's an updated Mary Jane, and it doesn't feel quite so stodgy these again these are like little bunny rabbits so what's not to love um 
I would say if you are looking to buy these shoes, I would re definitely recommend you dip your toe in the water with either brand. It really depends on how you see yourself picturing buying these shoes, um, where you see yourself going in them. Um, if you're going to more parties, these might be a little bit more fun and formal than I would say, say maybe these, although these are like a daytime shoe to me if I'm being honest. Um, if you are looking, I want to say, for price points, these might be the better buy. Um, the Aquazores I found on sale, so that, but I feel like that was kind of like an exception. The Aquazore Denovs never go on sale unless it's like a seasonal print. The classics tend to typically run around seven to eight hundred. These were around four to five hundred, so they're a lower entry level price point. But both are made in Italy. Both are made with great. I'm going to say materials and design work, and I do love the fact that Tamara Mellon is a woman-owned brand, um, and I do think that is something that is kind of quite cool. Um, in terms of my reviews, again, 10, 10, 9, 8, um, and I, I have to say, even these, I still love them. I am, I'm not planning on getting rid of them anytime soon. Um, I just think I was really disappointed about the break-in period because it looked like I was a newbie walking around in heels that day. <laughs> um, but I don't hold Tamara Mellon responsible for that as much as I do myself. So anyways, um, if you like this review, if you'd like to see more content on shoes, please give this video a thumbs up. If you like it and you'd like to see more about fashion, please subscribe. I'm going to say thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.